Plus, we are currently in a coastal flooding warning. Joining me at the desk is News 2 meteorologist David Dixon. And David, this can be confusing since there's not so much rain in our forecast for the average Joe like me, but there are multiple uh, factors that are playing into this. Yeah, coastal flood advisories and the warning that we're seeing is mainly due to those astronomical tides. If you're out at the beach, high tide versus low tide, we're looking at an elevated high tide. The reasons behind this, while well, we have a new moon coming up on the 17th, and we also have the moon closer to the earth on the 18th. Combine that with an onshore wind. Well, we get that coastal flood warning we have in effect for this evening, starting in around 5 o'clock and ending around 10 o'clock. In between then, we're going to see significant saltwater flooding, major saltwater flooding at that, and flooding numerous roadways downtown and maybe even property with up to one to two feet of standing water. Now, this is a pretty complicated graph, but I want you to focus in on that 8.1 feet. That is what uh, NOAA and the National Weather Service is expecting for tonight's high tide, putting it in that pink side of the graph there, this hydrogram indicating major flood stage. And as you notice, those ridges continue to be elevated. So tonight we're going to see that major flooding of around 8.1 feet. And that is just around that uh, high tide around 7 o'clock in the harbor. Now again, by tomorrow morning, we could see some minor flooding because that uh, onshore wind continues and we are heading towards the 17th, which I told you with the new moon. And then we'll have to watch out again for Wednesday evening and Thursday evening for the potential to moderate to potentially major flooding. And as uh, Sophia said earlier, we're not really seeing any rain, which is really a blessing is that's not going to add on top to all this water, but we could see quite a bit for our Wednesday and Thursday evening that we do want to pay attention to that is caused by in part Sally. Sally still crawling through the Gulf at the moment, still crawling towards the Alabama Mississippi shoreline. We'll give you those updates with the tropics as well as that soggy second half of the week that we are anticipating.